Hi, I'm George K. and this is my father Niels. Hi. Welcome back. Um, after last week we have decided to only do uh, two weekly updates, so one update every two weeks, every Tuesday as we had before, and uh, do a big video when we have a big project finished. And now let's talk about what we've been doing these past two weeks. Niels, you had time of work. Yeah, it was my summer holiday. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it was spent here. <laughs> yeah, it was spent. We stayed home and uh, visited uh, our beautiful North Sea coast. Um, but things like that. Mostly we spent it working. Yeah. On our guitar pedal. And we're still working on the harmonic tremor though that we uh, showed off last week. And our main problem has been the noise. Right. So we've been trying to figure out why. Is it so noisy? And for that we've decided to start at the input stage. Niels? Right. The idea was uh, to take the tremolo schematic and break it down into individual modules. We have the input stage, we have the VCA stage, the LFO and uh, of course the output stage. So I tried various input stages from different designs. Uh, input stages with, which use an op amp, SNM input amplifier, or a field effect transistor input stage, or just the bipolar transistor input stages. And every one of them worked, but the op amp stage and the field effect transistor stages were rather noisy. Better than what we had with, with our uh, yeah, well, but tremolo experiment, but uh, still we were not happy with it. And, and uh, even the transistor stage, which did sound the best, was still too noisy. Yeah. And we have no idea where this noise is coming from. And uh, for now we've decided to use the transistor stage. We can probably cut down on the noise eventually. So, after concentrating on the input stage, we were focusing on the LFO. And we decided to go with a design which is originally from BOSS, from the TR2. It has a very nice triangle generator with a waveform shaper between triangle and rectangular. Uh, very nice and the advantage is um, even if you change the frequency the amplitude of the signal stays the same. Unlike, and, the, uh, unlike the univibe. Yeah, unlike a lot of designs where the, the volume also changes. And so we, we went for that and uh, I made a PCB uh, for that as well. The next problem was the VCA and I tried different designs on, on the breadboard um, finally decided to go for a vectoral based dual VCA concept that needs to be tested. <laughs> the PCB is done yet but and, and populated but not switched on because in the meantime our conundrum with the noise made us buy a Behringer uh, UT300. Yeah, the, which is uh, supposed to be an exact clone of the uh, Boss TR2. The right. And it's quite cheap actually. So it was 23 euros. We said, what the heck, we buy it, we reverse engineer it and see, see what, what happens. Doing. Because I took that, uh, that pedal, put it on my board, turned it on and there was absolutely no noise. It was completely silent. Yeah, very beautiful. Very so nice. if they can do that, why can't we? We will, but <laughs> we have to learn. Yeah, so we opened the uh, UT300 to look inside and uh, Neil started reverse engineering it. It, it is um, an SMD PCB, so there, is all, there are all these tiny microscopic little resistors and capacitors and then there's uh, normal sized electrolyte condensators something like that um, and inside the heart of it is a V2181 VCA chip um, produced by Cool Audio by Cool Audio, yes so um, actually it is uh, this one <laughs> now I reverse engineered the, the schematic and it um, it's very closely based on the BOSS TR2 schematic with a, with a few differences, where Behringer did uh, some things different. Interesting enough, because yeah. we were hunting for what is what they do right and we do wrong. And funnily enough, the BOSS TR2 produces 5.5 volts as an auxiliary voltage, 
Uh, it goes to the depth potentiometer. And the Behringer also has that part. It, it creates a 5.5 volt, but it's never used anywhere. Yeah, so you tried, you tried beeping it with the multimeter and yeah. they just don't go anywhere. The 5.5 volt are just, they are created. Just they never to exist. <laughs> yeah. So, so really you need to uh, look at your design again. What are those 5.5 volts doing? And you can save money by just letting it... You're just putting it off the board. Right. <laughs> um, so, to, to uh, prove that, my, uh, uh, that the reverse engineered schematic works, I created my own PCB following that schematic. And I left out the part with the 5.5 volt, of course. Um, and that was uh, now we're at the, at the last weekend. And this weekend I, I uh, got the PCB to work. Uh, the LFO is working. The input stages are working. And to me, they sound quite clean. And uh, But the VCA is doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Let's look at the VCA. Yeah, so that's where we're stuck at the moment. And uh, if you like to see, I have my PCB um, and a breadboard where the, the VCA is built on the breadboard. And I plug the signal out of the PCB, feed it into the um, VCA. And uh, if you like, you can hear it in our short sound demo. We're not there yet. There's some very strange very strange uh, noise which I blame on, on the Frankenstein setup of the PCB and the, the breadboard. And the parallel running chips. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, then we also got a, a Dan Electro tuner mill tremolo from my bandmate Chris and uh, that works very differently. That uses a Vectrol as a VCA uh, but we haven't ripped it apart yet but uh, no. We it's, are probably gonna have a look at that too. It's on the list. And we also bought ourselves a Tube Screamer clone, a DIY thing from uh, Music Ding. And uh, we're gonna see how that sounds, if that's noisy or not. How may they do it. Maybe it's us, yeah? <laughs> if we build it and it's noisy, then it's definitely us. <laughs> now, for the future, uh, we're going to try to get the uh, UT300 clone which is a TR2 clone, so the clone of the clone. We're going to try to get that working. That's Clone Wars, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to see if that is as noisy as the original or if it's really us or where that noise is coming from. Uh, then you're also going to try some more VCA designs, some Vectral VCAs, yeah. some, some uh, Thet VCAs. Mm -hmm. And that's basically where we're going to leave it off for today. We're going to be back in two weeks. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and ring the bell and all that YouTube good stuff. We'll be here. Maybe you have some feedback. Maybe you can help us along the way. So thank you very much. And remember, stay, stay curious. curious.